Hi guys, I'm Megan. Some of you probably know me as Going Green Mom. You're here from the Tiny Tidy Tuesday um, collab. Um, some of you might know me as Going Green Mom if you're here from travel stuff, um, raid parades, Saturday stroll, collabs, um, hence the GGM part. Um, <laughs> in case you're unaware, um, Going Green Mom is my health journey and this is my other channel where I can put whatever I want. Anyway, so I am joining the Tiny Tidy, Tiny Tidy Tuesday collab run by Sunday Dawn over on the Helpful Home. Definitely go check her out. I will have both the playlist and her channel linked down below. I know a lot of the people in the travel world really liked the decluttering stuff I was doing for a while, and this is kind of an extension of that. Um, it doesn't have to be decluttering, but it's any of those little things that you need to do and get done that are just kind of nagging things. Um, we get those done on Tuesdays, and normally I'm just in the comments, but Sunday convinced me to come over the dark side. Um, anyway, so I have been working on not only decluttering, but, um, sort of sorting and getting into a usable situation, <laughs> um, sewing stuff, I inherited quite a bit of my grandmother's quilting supplies, as well as, like, knitting, crocheting stuff. Um, I inherited a lot of fabric and sewing stuff from my mom, and it's kind of spread out everywhere. So I wanted to start out here. Um, so this shelf in this bookcase, we're in my front hallway, by the way, which is a little weird, but I live in a trailer, so, you know, it's not the largest area in the world. <laughs> So anyway, I have gone through this, then you come down here. Now, this actually looks much better than this did a couple months ago. Um, and I'm just going to kind of pan down. This is an electronics and gardening shelf. This is more sewing stuff. So down here, I've sorted out, and it's all of the rickrack and bias tape and ribbon type stuff. This has kind of a lot of everything. It's got some patterns, some closures, some elastic, and that kind of thing. I'll probably take that with me. But this shelf up here, oh, and the bottom shelf is like games and things. Anyway, this is a quilting tackle box that I've been basically shoving stuff in as I sorted out and there was already a category. And then this is like all of the miscellaneous. So I'm going to grab a few of these boxes and we're going to go back to my room. Um, generally speaking, I've been following Dana K. White's decluttering type system um, where you don't pull everything out, but this is not working. I'm a visual clutter bug. Um, we are a household full of butterflies. Um, so I prefer visual storage as well as large categories. This is getting a little bit more to the B side than I like, but I would like to be able to find like the things that you use to mark fabric with or the things to cut fabric with. And I can't get to them and I have hurt my fingers in this thing multiple times. So anyway, I'm going to pull this stuff out and we are going to work on sorting it and see what kind of categories I can come up with. A couple weeks ago, these were all filled with stuff and acting as boxes. Um, and a lot of what was in them was various dishes I had received um, from grandmother at various times. I do have a few more of these black pottery dishes if I need them. Um, I've washed them. I pulled them down here, but they are basically sitting on shelves in here. So the idea is I would like to be able to categorize this stuff can you tell I'm in the cat's spaces? <laughs> Basically, categorize this stuff, get it into containers, um, get stuff out of... By the way, that's Little Bit. If you haven't met her before, you probably have, if you've seen my videos or any live streams, met Charlie, who's running away from the camera. Um, little Bit. Can I open the box? Pretty please? Thank you. And you know what I did forget? I forgot my timer. 
this is Tiny Tiny Tuesday, so we do kind of try and keep them to small things. Now, this is the tackle box. You can see there's a lot of it's already sorted. So, like, I've got marking tools up there, a few things of thread, some needles, multiple places. Anyway, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. Now Charlie's sniffing the boxes. <laughs> this might be interesting, y'all. All right, so I'm probably going to just sit this down somewhere and hopefully that works out. I am probably going to pause this and flip you over because otherwise the camera will be on the ground. All right, give me just a second. Okay, so I'm just getting my timer set on my other phone, not the one that's recording, but the one I'll have going with YouTube. And I thought you guys might like to see a little bit, a little bit. She has a lot of names, a little bit noodly, a little bit, um, it's a little bit of whatever. <laughs> yeah, and that looks backwards to me, but it's 15 minutes. And then I'm probably going to go silent for a bit um, and do a voiceover because I tend to do this kind of thing while I'm watching YouTube. Okay, so I've got the timer going and I've got YouTube running again. A little bit is still checking everything out and she doesn't let me get very far before she is just in front of the camera. And so then I wound up cutting out a bunch of footage. <laughs> But I went for 15 minutes, and here shortly you will get to see how far I've gotten. I actually pretty well cleaned out the toolbox in that time frame. And in the end, I did not put anything back into the toolbox. It's just going in my organizational supplies for in case we need it to organize something else. Okay, so this is kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> This is all needles of various types, sizes, shapes. Um, probably saw me showing. I don't understand the barrettes. At one point she had really long hair, but then she didn't. Probably the last 20 years she was alive, definitely since she moved to Indiana, I don't think she had long hair. These I know she was using to hold pieces together um, like in place of pins, because you could, like, just clip the edges and they would stay flat. This is marking tools, pins, like, that you would. Um, there's a few on a magnet out in the living room where I've been stitching that are not sticking to that, so I'm going to find the container of those, and they are going. Um, all the cutting things here... Measuring things, some miscellaneous stuff. This is a thing to fix knitted stuff. This is for use with that paper that you probably saw that was bright blue. Um, I'm not really sure how to use that. This is for cutting buttonholes, so I know I want to keep that. This looks like a latch hook, like you would use to make a rug, only very, very tiny. I don't know. Does somebody know what this is? Like, this is my problem with a lot of stuff. This is an awl. Slightly bent awl, but it's an awl. Um, I am going to keep it. I would like to make um, a corset. And that typically takes eyelets that I would like to stitch. Um, right now, all of this thread will go to my daughter's room. There's a essentially like a sewing, it folds out kind of like the tool uh, tackle box does, um, but on both sides and it has little things and we've got all of the, the thread in there. So that stuff will go there. I don't know. I'm assuming granddad made this, but it's so that it can't run away. And then she of course had more needles on the side and that used to always sit next to her chair. Um, did I look in here? I don't know. <laughs> And then a couple of patches, which we've looked for and couldn't find. And then, all right, so the thread's going in my daughter's room. This is all, like, closures. So snaps or hooks and eyes. They have a container in there. 
Um, one thing I'm noticing, I've got a lot of containers that are a lot of overflowing. So that's not ideal. Um, I do have, yes, more piles. <laughs> um, so that tin on the top, ooh, that one has buckles and, and I want to call them loops, but like this kind of thing in it. Um, but that one right there is empty. Um, and like I mentioned, I've got a couple other containers in the kitchen that are the black pottery. Um, so I'm going to set the timer for another 15 minutes and I'm going to do those. And I need to move my leg because otherwise my hips will lock up. Um, but I'm hoping I can get through those. And I've also got some tins and things in here that some of this stuff will organize into. So um, I'm just kind of hoping to condense. And I'm going to try and figure out another place to set you guys because I don't know how much you guys could see in the last 15 minutes. And we're off on another 15 minutes. So these two boxes, I am actually, they're tr like a protective tray that Chewy puts on their cat food. They make very good sorting trays if you have a need for those. Um, this was in the little leather pouch. It said this was my travel stitching supplies for years and now they've all scattered. And so it's just some needles and pens and um, that was her little chart. I'm assuming she would do like a little cross stitch initials in the bottom corner of each of her quilts. Um, so I just put one of the like fold up pairs of scissors in there with that. Cause I know I would need that anytime if I want to use that. Um, and there is a second one of those that my daughter got from ramen con. So, um, I kind of put those together and in one of the pockets so we can just kind of grab and go there. Obviously I'll need to get some more resupplies. I've got so many little things of beads and I don't know, what do people use beads for? Um, they had various bead work and stuff. Um, my grandparents lived in South America for 35 years and moved at various times. Um, and if I haven't already shown it to you, I will be showing you shortly. Like, I've got this long green tin that my mom's button stash was in. And, <laughs> and the little wiggle worm, um, I don't know what she was going to use that on, but it was definitely fun. And, um, anyway, like, I remember sitting and beating, like... When up in the sewing room in Tennessee, which is one of those memories I had lost for a long time. But um, I do remember that. So I don't want to get rid of her tin. I think grandmother was probably more of a bee or a cricket. Granddad, too. Um, I don't know if that was just natural or if it came from their many years overseas and moving and having to be very detailed in like their their inventories and stuff for the manifests. Um, but yeah. And that says, life is just a chair of bowlies. <laughs> it used to have little tags saying, made especially for you by, and my mom's name. Um, so I'm just putting stuff away and getting things corralled into their final destinations um and it just dawned on me I forgot to put the picture of the thing in okay so this pile over here I will donate these things this was broken so that's trash um probably trash these because if I open them up there it's probably some rust on there um yo-yo strings I will donate the little wormy guy, I will donate. The band-aids are trash. I don't know if these are donatable. It seems to be in good shape. Um, oh, do you need a random tassel? <laughs> um, and 
sunglasses. I don't even honestly know if she ever wore glasses. And some string that's definitely plastic based. So I'm just going to go that way with that with the donate stuff. So, and then this is trash. This stuff, I hate to say this, I'm probably going to shift it over towards the toolbox. <laughs> there are screws, bolts, um, stuff like that. And I believe my hot glue gun, if I still have one, is in there. So that will go there. Um, some of that is just trash, but like it's got little pins and stuff. There seems to be her travel sewing kit. And then this, I believe, is a sewing kit that my daughter got at um, ramen con a couple years back. This is all sewing machine stuff and I do not use a sewing machine. Um, I am taking mom's old sewing machine in to be fixed and so and then that will be going to my daughter. She she would like to learn how to sew by machine. Um, but so I will probably see if she wants to keep that in her room because that is all sewing machine related stuff and I don't know what it is. Uh, more trash. These are little cases that I don't know. Well, I mean, obviously the glasses were in here. So that, honestly, my, my son will probably claim that. Um, he likes leather. Some keys. They tried to mark it. <laughs> no idea. This is all of the needles that I've got to deal with. Marking stuff. I do have a cigar box out in the living room that has chalk of various types. And that can go in there as well. That is like all the tracing paper, a few like metal ruler type things. Pins. These, these things are brand new in the package. And I will actually put them in that one of those pouches. Um, that's actually like a double pouch. There's a pouch on the other side. So it will go in one of those two. Um, and actually this is a it's a curve like you you can like put it around your hip and get it the exact right curve for you not that I necessarily know how to do that with seams and things but I'm learning I'm learning progress not perfection okay um these will go to the ribbon and rickrack bin that I left out in the other room I still don't know what to do with the barrettes I'll probably wait a little while and see if you guys know what they would be used for with sewing or quilting um, or that any, on, honestly, I've got a variety of fiber type craft type stuff. Um, if you know a use for them, let me know. Otherwise I will probably sort all of those out and donate them. We have some in our hair stuff. I don't honestly use them. My daughter has short hair now. My son's hair is too thick for him. Um, so he just puts his in a ponytail. This is my miscellaneous bin. Um, and it's honestly probably going to stay a miscellaneous bin because these are all like one-off things. Um, I do wish I knew what this was. Um, my guess is it probably, and actually it will probably be safer in with the elastic. Um, but like to, to hook, hook into a, like a drawstring and pull through something small. These these are all safety pins. Um, I will have to see if Little Bit stays out of them. If she does, great. If not, I will have to find a new home. And then this is another magnet. Um, I will probably clean it off for now. Um, and then that will just become my daughter's. Um, I've got a blue round one in the living room. I don't need another one. Um, the patch. I just realized I've got more sewing stuff in that little, in that little plastic drawer thing. So that'll be a different day because half an hour is more than I would typically like to spend on a tiny tidy. So anyway, definitely check out the, um, list down below. Um, and check out Sunday Dawn's channel. She has got all sorts of good information on keeping your kitchen organized, especially if you have um, allergy issues in the household or extended household. And um, I will hopefully see you guys next week.